So as a DJ that's completely obsessed with their music library and hates scrolling through folders during a DJ set, I have figured out a load of different ways how to organize my music library. What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is DJ CB and on this channel we talk about everything to do with music organization and making your life easier as a DJ. Before sorting out my music library and making it organized like I have it today, I would be going to clubs stressed because I wouldn't be organized, I wouldn't know where my songs were and I'd leave the club being stressed because I haven't actually played the songs that I wanted. So I've organized my music library in a way where I am so happy and stress-free in a club. So what I'm gonna do is go through every single technique that I use to organize my music library. Let's head over to the computer right now. So the first thing and the main thing that I did with my music library when I sorted it all out was update my meta tags. When you look on my iTunes right now, you can see that all my meta tags for this one folder is all filled out. So we've got the title, the artist, the time, the BPM, the genre, and the year. Going through all this, you see every single column is sorted out. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he went through all these songs and done them manually yes I did personally I did them all manually like I went through every single one of these tracks and found the year I wrote a genre for them and if they were missing an artist I'd make sure I wrote it in there are tools to do this all automatically for you I have used these tools previously and I have done a video on music Picard. I'll leave the link in the description but when I did it because I had so much music in my library sometimes the data was correct sometimes the data wasn't so when I do like 2,000 songs I wouldn't know exactly what songs were done correctly until I came across them. So what I'd done was I got rid of all the genre, the years, etc., and done it all manually. It took me a long, long time, but as you can see now, this music library looks very, very clean, and I'm guaranteed that the reason why you clicked on this video is because your music library isn't organized. So you're looking at my music library thinking, rah, like, this took a lot of work, but you're sitting there thinking, I wish I had his music library. So I'm telling you guys now, in order to get an organized music library, I do suggest that you do update your meta tags. Like I said, you can use Music Brains Picard, but if you do use them kind of programs that tag the music for you, where they go to the internet and grab the albums and the titles all for you, do it, but do it in small chunks. Do about 50 songs at a time. Make sure all the data is correct and then add it into your music library. What you don't want to do is update the meta tags for all your songs and then realize that it's the wrong data then you got to do it again either do it manually or do it automatically but slowly when you've completed all the metadata for your tracks it opens you up to be even more organized in your library which I'll go through in later points so another way to organize your music library is by BPM what I do is create BPM range folders, then I can put all the BPMs between, for instance, 90 to 100 in one folder, then 100 to 110 in another folder. Let me show you a demonstration. So over here, we've got my 90 to 100 R&B, hip hop and UK folder. In here, it has every single track that I have with the genre R&B, hip hop and UK. That's from 90 BPM all the way down to 99. But now when I select a track that's 90 BPM, I can come into this folder and know that I can mix any other song in in this folder because it's the same BPM range. And I personally find it just so much easier to just be inside this crate when I'm DJing because I know that I can just work down the folder and I know that another song within this folder is gonna work with the song that I'm currently playing. Another thing I noticed that what DJs do is they normally create folders and they create crates based on genre. So they'll create an R&B crate and a hip hop crate and a UK crate. Then they'll work down them crates. For example, they'll go through an R&B crate and they'll start from 90 to 100. But then you've missed out all the different tracks from other genres. So what I do is I put all the genres into one folder. So I'll have my R&B 90 to 100, hip hop 90 to 100 and UK 90 to 100 all in one folder. That way I can be playing an R&B tune and then then I can go straight over to a UK tune if I wanted to because it's all in one folder. Don't limit yourself to just being in one genre. That's what's gonna get you into a bit of trouble when you're DJing. You're gonna run to the end of the folder and then you're gonna struggle and be like, oh, what song do I choose next? And then you're scrolling through all your folders. Make things easier for yourself. Another way I organize my music library is by using genre smart crates. Most DJs, when they first start, the first things they do and the first folders they create is R&B, hip hop, house, UK, and then they'll manually drag all their tracks into these folders. And I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with that. Every time you add a new song into your music library, you're gonna to have to drag for instance, an R&B song into the R&B folder, then a hip hop song into the hip hop folder. But what if you forget? You go to a DJ set and you're sitting in your hip hop folder, but because you're in your hip hop folder and you haven't updated it with a new track, you completely forget about that track. Then when you leave, you're completely kicking yourself because you didn't play the track that you wanted. So what I've done is created smart crates for genres. So I'll show you over here now. So if I go into my Serato genre folder, I have all the genres 
that make up my music library. So what I did was I went into songs and then I ordered by genre and then I went down, create a folder for acapella, create a folder for Afrobeats, create a folder for Christmas, create a folder for commercial, create a folder for dancehall, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when I go into my dancehall folder, it has all my dancehall tracks in there. And I'll tell you how this all works. Metadata, like I said in the first step, metadata is so important and it can help you so much. So if you go to the rules of this smart playlist, you can see that the rule is genre is dancehall. So whenever I add a brand new song into my music library and it's a dancehall track, I'll tag it with the genre dancehall and it will automatically get put into this smart crate. So when I go DJ and I go into my dancehall folder, every single one of my new tracks that I've added to my music library that has a genre of dancehall will be in that folder, so I will not miss it. So the main point of this is you need to update your meta tag in your music library to make things easier for you when you DJ. I guarantee you have been at a DJ set before and you've left the DJ set and you're like oh I didn't play that song it's because it wasn't in the folder that you were normally in and you haven't updated it properly make life easier for yourself make a smart crate for your genre and then you won't have the problem of missing out on tracks another way I've organized my music library is by genre sub crate so what I've got here is in my club folder under old school I've got an old school R&B playlist so if you, have, if you head over to here, every single song in here is old school R&B. You scroll down, they've got the genre, they've got the tags, and I've got this new column called grouping. So what I done, and again, it did take a while, but it's made my library nice and organized and I'm happy with it. I went through every single one of my old school R&B tracks, and then I tagged each one if it was an old school R&B track. And I updated the grouping column, as you can see here, and it's got old school R&B. Then with inside here, I've got an old school R&B smart crate. And in this smart crate, look at the rule. Grouping is old school R&B. So when I add an old school R&B track into my music library, all I need to do is tag it with grouping old school R&B and it will automatically get put into this folder. I play a lot of old school R&B on my Twitch every single Friday at 8 p.m., shameless plug. And I normally update my music library throughout the week and I always update with old school R&B. Then when I'm playing on a Friday, I go into this folder and I just freestyle in this folder. And sometimes I come across a track that I've just added. I'm like, you know what? If I didn't add that meta tag in, it would not be in this folder and I would have completely missed it. Creating subgenres for your genres is so important. I've got old school r and I've got old school hip hop, I've got old school dancehall. Things like that can really, really help you with your music library. Another way I've organized my music library, and this is one of the important things that I tell every single DJ, is create scenario playlists. Let me give you an example. So you go to a club, the first thing you do is obviously you open up. No one's in the club, you're gonna be playing whatever songs you want. And then the first group of people that come in are gonna be what? Girls. To get the night started, you need to get the girls on the dance floor. So what do you have in your music library? A ladies folder. And that's gonna be a scenario that you need to create in your music library. So this ladies folder helps me out so much when I DJ at a club. Because the first thing I'll do is open up, then I'll get the ladies dancing, then I'll get everyone dancing, then I can start the main set. This ladies folder is so, so important. DJs, you do not understand how important it is to keep the girls happy on the dance floor. So in this folder, I have every single kind of song that makes girls dance or gets girls singing. So let me have an example. Let me go through and we've got here, Crazy in Love, Upgrade You, Beautiful Liar, Single Ladies, Love on Top, Run the World Girls. All these tracks in here are ladies tracks. So I suggest that you create a ladies folder or a ladies scenario crate in your music library to make your life easier. What I've done was I, I utilized the comments column and I've added hashtag ladies club into the column. And for the smart crate for ladies club, if I open it up, you've got comments contains ladies club. So anytime I add a new song that I think that the ladies will like, I'll add hashtag ladies club into the comments column and it will get automatically added into this crate. And again, if I didn't add this tag into my music library, it wouldn't get put into this folder. So when I'm playing for the ladies at my club, I might miss a track because I haven't added it in. So people, again and again, I wanna keep going on about it. Utilize your meta tags and your meta data with inside your music library. Another way I organize my music library is having a system for when I add brand new songs in. When I add brand new songs in, I don't just add them in and throw them into the songs folder and just hope for the best. That's the kind of things that make you forget about the tracks that you've downloaded. So the first thing I'll do is add it into my brand new music folder. So I'll come over to here and in my brand new music folder, I'll open it up. Then I've got new music 2021. I'll open that up and I've got all the months. Then I'll open up, let's say May. 
in May, I've got May 7th, 2020. So I've got the date that I added the brand new songs in. I open that up and you can see that I've got this folder. So the first thing I'll do when I add a brand new song into my music library is update all the meta tags. Make sure all the meta tags are completed before I do anything. Then I'll kind of decide what folder it should go in. So for this one, all these songs are old school R&B. So I've added the value old school R&B into the grouping folder. And because I've got Smart Crate set up for old school R&B, every single one of these tracks will go into my old school R&B Smart Crate. So when I go play old school R&B on my Twitch at Friday 8 p.m., again, shameless plug, I'll have all these songs ready for me. So let me go show you. So let's take an example, Grub On Trey Songs. Then I'll go over to my Serato folder, go into old school, go into old school R&B, and then I'll search Grub On Trey Songs. And as you can see, it's been added in there because I've got the old school R&B tag. So make sure you have a system of when you add brand new songs into your music library. I'm gonna be doing an in-depth video on how to add music into your music library in depth. So keep an eye out for that. So all these different things I apply to my music library because over the years, I've been trying to sort out my music library. I've been asking different DJs how they do theirs. And, and you all know, like when you ask DJs for stuff, they don't really give you that much information. So over the years, I've come up with these core things which I've just shared with you lot today. Without me organizing my music library, I would struggle in a club. I have terrible memory when I um, DJ. Like literally, I need to have everything in front of me in specific folders at specific times. Otherwise, I'll just stress out and I'll get stressed and I'll be like, oh my God, I haven't got any songs to play. With this organization system that I've got right here, I have not said I'm running out of music in a very, very long time. On this channel, we talk about everything to do with music organization and making your life easier as a DJ. So going forward, I am gonna be creating videos all about music organization. And I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of video because this is the thing I'm passionate about. I love my music library. I love updating all my meta tags and making my music library look all nice and clean. So I wanna make sure that I take all these tips and give them all to you. If you found this kind of video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. I stream on Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. So make sure you lock in for that. Also add me on Instagram at DJC underscore B. I'm going to leave a playlist here on music organization so you can get your music library sorted out. With that being said, I go by the name of DJCB and we're out.